Good morning, praise the Lord, and welcome to the Testimonial Cathedral Church of God in Christ under the direction of Bishop J. Bernard Hackworth. It's time for us to get our praise on because great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Hallelujah. We want you to, in your homes or wherever you are, praise the Lord along with us. He's worthy today. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Oh, let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Help me see.
Hallelujah. 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 We thank you for your glory, God. We thank you for your glory, God. We thank you for your glory, God. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you for your glory. Lord God, we thank you for your power. Lord God, we thank you for your brilliance. Lord God, we thank you for your awesomeness. Lord, we thank you, God, for being God. Lord, we thank you for being the creator. We thank you for being I am that I am. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Endow us with your power. 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 Endow us in the name of Jesus. 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 Power. 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 We need your power. We need your power. We need your power. We need your power. Power to walk right. Power to talk right. Power, power, in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Have your way in this place. 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 Have your way, 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 way. All that of in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. We give you glory. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're able to heal. You're able to heal. Lord God, we pray for the people who are sick right now. Touch their bodies in the name of Jesus. Lord, your blood was red. Lord, your body was broken in the name of Jesus. Healing, healing, healing their bodies in the name of Jesus. Stop death right now, God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every bereaved family, hallelujah, take comfort in him, oh God, hallelujah, take the place of the grandfather, take the place of the grandmother, take the place of the son, take the place of the daughter, take the place of the father, take the place of the mother, take the place of the auntie, take the place of the uncle, in the name of Jesus, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, hallelujah, 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 glory, hallelujah, in Jesus name, in Jesus name, in Jesus
I stop worrying, worrying how the story ends. I let go and I let God, let God have his way. That's when things start happening, when I stop looking back at them. When I let go and I let God, I let God have his way. I couldn't seem to fall asleep. There was so much on my mind. Searching for that peace. But the peace I could not find. Then I kneeled down to pray. Pray, help me please. Then he said, you don't have to cry. I'll supply all your needs. Soon as I stop worrying. Worrying how the story is. When I let go. I let go. And I let God. I let God have his way. That's when things start. I let God have his way. Let's say it again. I couldn't seem to fall asleep. There was so much on my mind. Searching for that peace. But the peace I could not find. Then I kneeled down to pray. Pray, help me breathe. Then he said, you don't have to cry, cause I'll supply all your needs. Cause soon as I stop worrying, cause soon as I stop worrying, worrying I, the story is, when I let go, I let go and I let God, let God have his way. That's when things when start happening. I let him have his way. Now there's so much going on. Sometimes I can't find my way. And oftentimes I struggle. I struggle from day to day. All right. But now I realize it's not my battle, no. It's not my battle to find no more. I'm going to put my trust in God and know that everything will be all right. Worry. Worry how the story is. I'm not going to look back no I more. Because I, I let God, let God, God have his way. That's when things start happening. That's when things start happening with me, y'all. I'm not gonna look back no more. Cause I let God, I let God have his let go. Let God, let go. Let God, let go. And let God, oh, let go. Let God, let go. And let God, my. Let go, let God, sister, we can't handle it. Just let go and let God, let go and let go. Let go, let God, let go, let go, and let God. Let God, you gotta have some faith in him, y'all. Hey, just let go.
worrying how the story is gone. Cause I let God, I let God have his way. That's when things start happening to me, y'all. When I stop looking back then, I let, I let go, go and I let God, I let God have his way. Hallelujah. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Always a joy and a thrill to come back into your home or your place of business, wherever you may be tuned in, to let you know God yet loves you. God is concerned about you. Don't let fear get you down. God is yet on the throne, and God is controlling everything. So we're getting ready to go to the, we're going to go to the throne of grace. We're going to pray for you now. I want you to know God will bless you. All you got to do is just believe it and everything will be all right. God said there in the 103rd Psalm in that third verse, he said, I am the Lord God that healeth thee. He said, I forgive all your iniquity and heal all your disease. John pick it up in the 15th chapter in the seventh verse. He says, my word abide in you and you in me. Ask what you will and it shall be done. Ask God what you will because he said that his eyes are open and his ears are tending to the prayer that go on in this place. Bow your head. I believe God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We praise your name. You've been good to us. You woke us up this morning. We thank you for it. Thank you for your love that you put in our heart. Thank you for the peace that you put in our mind. Thank you, Jesus, the joy that you put down in our soul. God, look on these that are listening in now. Bind the works of Satan. Cast out all fear. Let them, Lord, turn to you in the name of Jesus. Let them be healed. Let the weak sound strong. Let the sick sound healed in the name of Jesus. Cast out all that high blood pressure. Cast it out, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And I'll give you all the glory and all the honor in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. We're going to give you a snack today. But we're going to the second chapter of the book of Acts. The 41st verse in the second. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized. And the same day there was added unto them about 3,000 souls. And they continue steadfast in the apostle doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and prayer. We're going to talk to you a little bit about the results of a spiritual church. Results of a spiritual church. Now, when Jesus walked around here after he had risen, and he walked around for about 40 days, and he told his disciple, so I'm giving you your warning. I'm giving you your command. He said, now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go in all the world and preach the gospel, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And, and this is what I want you to do. And so on his way back to Bethlehem, and he began to talk to him, and a cloud picked him up, received him out of their sight. And they were with joy gazing into heaven. But I want you to know there was two men dressed in white apparel. They were standing there. And he said, why are you standing here gazing? 
What did Jesus tell you? Did he tell you to go to Jerusalem and stay there until you be endowed with power from on high? I know there's a lot of festivity going on in Jerusalem, but you go on to the upper room. And so they, they was glad and they went to Jerusalem and the festivity was going on in the sanctuary in the synagogue. They didn't go in there and join in. They went up on top. They had an upstairs there. And they went up there about 120. They went up there and prayed. They were waiting for the promise. Jesus said, I'm going to send the promise of my father upon you. He said, now, John truly baptized with water, but I'm going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. And so they went up there and they got to praying and Peter discovered that. He said, wait a minute, something is wrong here. It was 12 of us, but not but 11. He said, now God want to fulfill that, that number he called. He said, now God, I want you to show which one of these men. And I want you to know that Lot fell on Matthias. And he was numbered with that 12. And my God, and they got to praying. And I want you to know after a while, they heard a wind. My God, and then after the wind was blowing, ah, they heard and they saw a ball of fire and looking like blood. And I want you to know, and it said clover, clover tongue, that fire, that's the same fire that led the children at night through the wilderness. And that fire was cut up into a hundred and twenty pieces. I went down on the inside and got a hold to the vocal cord. And my God, they would begin to speak in tongues and the spirit give other in. And I want you to know one thing. It was 17 countries there represented. All were speaking a different language. They came on the outside. They said, look at here. What's going on here? What do this mean? The people was in the temple. They came out. They were listening. What did they say? Not all of these Galileans. And why all of us listen to them speaking in our tongue? My God. And they got said, what this mean here? My God. One person said, they must be drunk. My God. And a dip soap maniac stepped up. He said, wait a minute. He said, now I want you to know one thing. They must got a hold to some new wine. Say, I done drink everything on the market. I W your hopper gin and all that stuff. And nothing made me act like this. And so Peter got tired. Well, I'm trying to guess. Peter stepped up. He said, men and brethren, I want you to head in. He said, this is that was spoke by the prophet Joel. Joel said in the last day, God said, I'm going to pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your son and your daughters shall prophesy. Your men shall see vision. Old men shall dream dreams. And on my handmaid, and on them all, I'm going to pour out my spirit, my God. And Peter said, now listen, y'all done Jesus wrong. Now, God sent him here to teach and preach to us. But look what you done, you wicked men. Now, took him and you crucified him, nailed him to the cross. My God, after a while, all of start hollering they said I feel something my god they was under conviction you got to come under conviction hey, he said now nah, what must I do I don't know what to do I know I done wrong wrong I done wrong now I want to know what to do and Peter said repent repent of your sin and God will give you the gift of the Holy Ghost. Say so what you see in here, I want you to know that's God. God sent his son and his son gave it life and God raised him up and they put him in a bar room. Stay
way down there at three, whole days and nights. And then he went back there, sitting on the right hand of God, making intercession for you. And all you got to do is just believe it. My God treats over 3,000 people. My God, this is the result of a spirit filled church. Over 3,000 that repented and came to the Lord. My God, they say, I feel this thing. Hey, glory to God. Don't you know? If you got something and can't feel it, you'll lose it and won't know it. But you got to get it down in you. And the Holy Ghost will speak for himself. Those 17 different countries, 17 different languages, they was there and all of them heard him speaking tongue in their own language. You don't teach the Holy Ghost how to speak. The Holy Ghost know how to speak. He was speaking before you even thought of. Before you came into God full knowledge. The Holy Ghost was speaking. A lot of people tell me I to teach you how to speak in your heavenly language. If the Holy Ghost don't speak through you, you better keep your mouth shut. God, my God. Because you'll turn out to be a, a lying prophet. Glory to God. Now... We're going to cut off here. And I want you that don't know God. You that want God in your heart. I want you to just repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I know that you gave your son. And he buried him in a borrowed tomb. And he rose up. And I believe him. I accept him into my heart as my personal savior. I realize he's wearing five hats. Matthew 1 and 21. He said she gonna bring forth a son. Shall call his name Jesus. Because he's gonna save his people from their sins. So he have five hats to wear. He's Jesus the Savior. He's Christ to anoint you. He's Lord to govern you. He's King to rule you. And he's shepherd to tend to you. My God, he older than age, better than good, louder than sun, sweeper than speed, and brighter than light. God bless you. I'm gonna open the doors of the church. I don't care where you are. You might not have a church on, but the God put this on my heart. Everybody need to have a covenant. Wherever you are, you can join the church. And all you got to do is call the secretary and she'll give you the number. And when, and we write, you write, you call, we we'll write to you. And we'll send you a letter, what you're supposed to do. And that letter will be your right hand of fellowship. Wherever you are, if you are out of town where you can't get here, I want you to know one thing. You are covered if you want to join. It's up to you. God bless you. Then we enjoy the message from our bishop, a spiritual church. Now, I know we're in quarantine right now and we're doing social distancing, social distancing, but we don't have to do spiritual distancing. So I encourage you to get on the phone and call your brothers and sisters, talk to them, pray with them, read the word with them, break bread with them. Because we all want to, we are all better together. Don't let us not be separated so the Leviathan can sneak in and bite us on the leg and the sin of poison will be on our in our bodies. But let's come together. We can stump the devil out. So I pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, 
that you will encourage every believer to come together to pray to repent to seek your face and love one another father god in the name of jesus for we are better together two can put ten thousand to flight god and we thank you for that in jesus name amen Enjoy the bishop on today. We, he has truly blessed my soul, and I hope that he has blessed you as well. And if you'd like to become a part of this family, we would love to have you. Just give our office a call at area code 323-299-6570. 
And if you'd like our mailing address, it is 5701 Southwestern Avenue, Los Angeles, California, 90062. Our bishop will be praying for all those that would like to become a member and you just need someone to talk to or have a prayer request, please feel free to call us at any time. And if you found a blessing in what the bishop has offered unto you today, feel free to bless our ministry if God leads you in that way. We have four ways in which you can give. Our preferred way is Zelle. And it'll some of you may not be familiar with how to use Zelle, so I could give you a quick tutorial on the best practice and best way to use it. First, you should just download um, the Testimonial Cathedral Church of God in Christ. Add that to your phone in your list of contacts. And once you have added Testimonial to your contacts, go under Add Email and type in contact at testimonial-clc.org and then save that close it out then you could go to your financial institution and you go to where it says send money there should be a Zelle option most major banks have it and then you would just it'll ask you who do you want to send it to go to your list of contacts from your phone and type in Testimonial Cathedral Church of God in Christ and that will be all you need to do. It will pop up, send whatever the Lord has put on your heart to do. And if you do not, if your bank doesn't have Zelle, you can always use Ziv Givelify, PayPal, or the Cash App. So we just thank God for you, our listeners. We thank God for you because without you, this would not be possible. And we thank you for allowing us to come into your homes and to share the good news. Thank you and have a blessed week. Hey, it's your girl Desiree with your morning announcements. Glory of the Lord, rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. All right, so our concert, as we stated last week, is postponed till July the 17th. But don't worry if you have tickets for April the 17th, they are still valid. So please still come on out and support us. Also, a great big happy birthday to all our April birthdays. We hope you guys are celebrating quarantine style, staying safe. Also, as far as our raffle for our photography session, you will get free makeup and hair by our own sister Ashley Wafer. That raffle is also postponed. However, we're still taking money. One ticket is $5. For five tickets, it would actually only be $20. So you get more bang for your buck with the $20. We will be pulling the we will be pulling the winner in August. So we hope everyone gives us a call so you can get those tickets. Contact me, Sister Dez, or anyone else on the Sublime team. Last but not least, our thought of the day. Let go and let God have his way in your life. It's your girl, Dez. Have a great one. Hey, this is your girl, Dr. Angela Hackworth Wilson. And thank you so much for allowing us to come into your homes today. Special thanks to our testimonial family, all our friends and our loved ones. So if you like what you heard, please hit the like button, subscribe, Testimonial Cathedral Church of God in Christ. We are here for you. And in these dark times, we are holding on to each other, holding on to God and lifting each other up in prayer. May God bless you. Until next Sunday, we love you. Glory of the Lord.